Bye everyone. I hope you're staying safe during this time. Um, I've just been asked to make a quick video on how to prepare and get in some tips on getting into medical school. A little bit about me. My name is Angel Spence. I applied to UCL, Imperial Kings and University of East Anglia, where I got all my spaces. And so I just wanted to share a few tips on my experience. And so I'm uh, the biggest tip, one of the biggest tips for me is just to, at the start, to make sure medicine is for you. Medicine is a very prestigious, very respected career, but that is not the only reason that you should be going into it. You should have a passion for it and you should actually know why you want to go into it. And so to, disco to discovering that will actually be it, make you a lot, make the process of applying a lot easier. My second tip is to find a medical student that you can talk to because it is crucial in finding the insight of what a medical student actually is and that you can actually portray that in your personal statement and your interviews and that will really impress the admissions team because they actually know that you've t taken time to um, research that and so you can do that through I, I know there's a lot of websites out there that you can do that through but even simpler just asking a teacher to put you in contact with a past medical student and that will be very um, effective for you. Third tip is to, maybe the one that is actually most reoccurring, is to be you, always be you. The medical schools actually want you. They just want you to prove it and just, just to tell them why. Why do we want you? We want you, but why? And that is that is something that helped change my perspective and really allowed me to uh, be successful. So for me, there are six key elements of actually application and to me that's your academics your work experience your um admissions tests your pick uh, you picking the right medical school for you your personal statement and the interviews uh first off your academics are bare bones this your if all most if not all medical schools need the grades A star, A star, A to A, A, B. You can research it using Unifrog. You will know for yourself what you need to do. I think the biggest tip I can give, to, biggest tips I can give to you, what I used was Active Recall, which is studying. If you, you can type it up on the internet, it will show you loads of stu um, studies showing it's the best way to learn. Um, learning at spaced intervals so that you can keep retaining information and using time papers. Those are the best ways. So moving on from, and speaking to your teachers, speak to your teachers, get help. Um, so next I will talk about your work experience. Due to COVID-19, you may not be able to procure work experience, but that is okay because there are platforms such as um, Buckingham University virtual work experience where you can still gain work experience, still get a certificate, still gain experiences. Um, you can also be a care home befriender on the phone where you can speak to um, care home service users and you can demonstrate um, skills such as empathy and good um, uh, conversational skills. I can't remember the real word for that right now. But um, yeah, so those are just a few things you can do. And this is what is allowing you to actually have personal experiences and put personal into personal experience, personal statement. And so uh, admission tests I'm going to breeze through because you will get a lot of guidance from school. But the biggest tip for UCAT, if you take it, is exposure, exposure, exposure. Um, exposing yourself to it is going to make you a lot faster in the real exam which is going to save you a lot of time and you can actually complete all the questions BMAT for me uh, section one is slightly different so I won't give any advice on that but section three is about um, essays and a lot of us don't do essays so I would say my tip my personal tip you don't have to use it but would be to look at the either the science, the ethic, the philosophical, uh, philosophical. I wouldn't tackle the miscellaneous personally, but look at their past example um, answers and then try and regurgitate a similar um, similar essay in your in your actual exam. So that can be really helpful. Your next step is picking the right medical school for you. Um, look at what your application holds. Does your application hold really good? um GCSE grades if so go for universities that really um favor good university grades if you're if you have a low UCAT score don't go for a university that has that favors and weights your application on how high your UCAT score is because you're less likely to be successful so those things very important to consider then I'm gonna uh put personal statement interviews together because I think once you do your personal this is all your personal this is all you so interview a personal statement is really 
at least eight drafts you need to sum up yourself you really need to show your passion you can't copy anybody because you can only bring you it's only you and so you have to show your unique reflection through your work experience through your own experiences through life and so interviews again personal all of it don't just regurgitate something you read in the book use the correct techniques such as the star technique and you knowing your medical ethics pillars medical pillars of medical ethics but don't regurgitate anything in a book because a lot of students are going to be going doing that and those students will find themselves disappointed when they don't have the correct they don't get the response they really want and so yeah with interviews i would also say research your unis um, if they do dissection over prosection or they do PBL and or traditional, you need to know that. And that is what's going to set you apart from other people who don't know this information and maybe will just neglect to actually find that out for themselves. And obviously know what style of interview you're doing, whether it be MMI or a traditional panel interview. And I think that is it really briefly summed up if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask um a member of staff to give me that give you my contact information i'll be happy to speak to you i hope you stay safe and your main priority is to look after yourself but i would say very quickly that the best resources online would be to check out the medical por medic portal where you can keep yourself updated with a lot of uh medical news which is key and medify for UCAT. i forgot to mention that earlier in the video but i hope you guys do well Thank you. Bye.